I'm delighted to say that Chesterfield's top scorer, Will Greg, joins us now. Um, right, OK. Uh, very good morning to you, Will. All right, an injury kept you from playing uh, last night. Just, uh, just describe what it was like to watch that. Um, it was difficult, to be honest. Obviously, watching is never fun, um, especially when the stakes are so high. But I think the, the atmosphere in the stadium was incredible. Um, you know, to have a, a sellout here at the 1866 was, was unbelievable. So, um, yeah, it was a, a really special day for everyone involved at the club. A, a special day. Um, was it also a special night? Because um, the promotion had been coming for a while. Was everyone partying uh, after that? Yeah, unfortunately, I've had about an hour's sleep and uh, I've got a little bit of a headache right now. So, um, yeah, I don't feel too good at the moment. But, um, yeah, it was, just, it, was, it was just great to see the town bouncing. You know, we stayed at the stadium and, and kept everyone together as long as possible. And then as soon as we went out in the town, I think, you know, it just it shows what it means to everyone. We, ha we had a nice little party and uh, I think the plan is to maybe do a little bit again today. Well, why not? Uh, if, if you've ever earned a headache, it's, it's this morning. And uh, 10 out of 10 for managing to get here and joining us. Um, Ch Chesterfield went down in 2018. That ended a 97-year spell, didn't it, in the Football League? So is there a sense that, that you're back where you belong for the club and the fans? Yeah, there's definitely a feeling of that. I think, you know, I, I joined the club nine months ago and the conversation with the owners and the manager was, you know, the short-term goal was to get this club back into the Football League. There was, there was no secrets about that. And, um, you know, all the hard work that everyone's put in to, to see that come to fruition and everything we spoke about on that day has happened. So that's credit to the owners, the, the management and, and everyone involved. But, um, yeah, to, to see this club back where it belongs, you know, I've obviously played, played against them for years in the Football League. So to see what happened in that sort of four or five year period where, you know, the, the club were actually close to, to being relegated again. So, yeah, to, to have that day and get the club, like you said, where it belongs is a, is a really special feeling. Yeah, you made that move, MK Dons, wasn't it? It's been a sensational season for you, 25 goals. Um, how much fun have you had? What do you put it down to? It's been incredible. Um, you know, I've worked with the manager before, so I knew exactly what was, what was what he would what he was going to do. Um, we spoke about bringing players in to strengthen the squad. Obviously, after they missed out on the player final last year, so um, it was really important just to add a little bit of quality. But the the core of the group here was incredible. Um, the management staff have, have been brilliant, and the message from the first game of the season to the last has, has been. Well, not the last. We've still got a few left, but until this day has been has been quite simple. Um, the gaffer knows exactly how he wants to play, and he's kept everyone calm and uh, calm and collected. I think we were 16, seven points clear at Christmas, um, so it's sort of been it's been a, a long wait to finally get it over the line. But um, you know, the the squad have been incredible, just to just to keep going and keep racking those points up like we have. Yeah, yeah. You mentioned your manager there, Paul Cook. What makes him so good? Um. You probably wouldn't think it the way the way you sort of see him on the on the sidelines, but um, he's so good with the players. His, his man management's incredible. But the way he sort of he stays calm with the boys. Um, if if the performance is is good, no matter what the result is, he'll stay stay calm and be happy. I think we played the other night at Halifax, and the first half performance was nowhere near it. And you know we we got we got told that at half time, but then we lose the game four two, and at full time he was you know, relatively complimentary just about the second half performance because we know if the performances are there then the three points will eventually will eventually come. So I think just his consistency with his messages, um, keeping the boys feet on the ground, especially this season that we've been so far ahead for so long. Um, it was really important that no one got carried away and, you know, he, he definitely wouldn't let that happen. Yeah, you went top on the on the 16th of September. You remained there ever since. Incredibly, there's still some records you could break. Um, 34 wins is the current record. That's held by Wrexham. And if you get, not you personally, well, maybe you personally, if you get 18 more goals, uh, you'll beat Notts County's record. Are those things that you're eyeing up? Or, or after last night, do you just not care anymore? <laughs> no, of course we do. Um, we probably won't think about that till, uh, till Tuesday morning when we get back to work. But um, yeah, the, like I said before, the, the gaffer is every game as it comes. Um, we didn't really speak about anything in terms of records and targets before, but we all sort of knew they were there. So there's no way we'll, we'll let up now. The gaffer won't let us, the staff won't let us. And, you know, we're definitely not going to stop until the season finishes. So those, those records are something we'll, we'll definitely try and break. Um, you know, obviously, we've clinched promotion now and, and got that secured. So 
I guarantee on, on Tuesday and Wednesday we'll be working really hard for that next game. I think it's the same message throughout the season. There's never been one game that's bigger than the other. Um, whether you're playing the bottom four, top four, it's, it's that consistency like I spoke about before. So, yeah, I'm, I'm sure as we get in on Wednesday and Thursday, those, those records will definitely be a target for us. Yeah, you, you mentioned last season, you weren't there, obviously, but losing in that, in that playoff uh, final to Notts County, it's, it's two ways a club could go there, isn't it? They, they could have been sort of felt hard done by and, and this season have been a, a bit of a disappointment. How much credit does everyone at the club get for kind of picking yourselves up and going again? Unbelievable amounts. I think, you know, the, the percentage of teams that lose the playoff final and, and then bounce back and get promoted the next season is, is very slim. Um, so, you know, the, a lot of people need to take credit for that. I, I did it at Sunderland where we lost in the playoff final and it's probably the probably one of the worst days of my career. And I think I, I joined in pre-season and there was, you know, we had meetings where we spoke about it just to get it out of the system. The boys were obviously hurt. But um, it was really important to get that out of the system and concentrate on this one. And I think that always helps with a few, a few fresh bodies as well. That's why it was important to get the, the, the four or five with real quality. But, um, you know, we've used it this season as well. Two weeks ago, two months ago, we spoke about it, how we didn't, they didn't want that hurt again. And players who have been there before didn't want that hurt. So we've used it as a, a little bit of extra motivation. And, you know, I think you, you saw the sense of relief and the sense of passion and, and gratefulness throughout, throughout the whole stadium. You know, no one wanted to do that again, be involved in the playoffs and, and have the potential heartbreak. So it's full credit to everyone involved. It's an incredible achievement. Yeah, you, you, you've been up and down the, the leagues in your time, as, as you said, but seeing what Wrexham are doing now in League Two in particular, not County sort of mid-table, but stable there. Looking around the club, the setup, the players you've got and the ambitions there, is, is this a, a team that you're confident can not just stabilise but can push on in League Two? Yeah, definitely. I think everything you spoke about then, the, the club from, from top to bottom is in a really good place. I think the, the owners have just taken a bigger stake and, and made the majority shareholders as well. So there's definitely going to be no sort of lacklustre attempts. We're not getting back to the Football League and, and being, being happy with that. There's no chance that's going to happen. Um, I think if you look at the stadium, the club, we had, we had a sellout 10,000 in, in the National League yesterday, which is, which is absolutely incredible. And I fully expect us to, to be competitive next year. I think with the squad we've got already, um, that was the aim to build that. We knew it would be strong in this league. Um, and I fully believe we'll be competitive next year. I, I've got no doubts that we might strengthen again. Um, but in terms of the club, it's definitely ready to push on again. So we'll be trying to, like you said, we, we look at Wrexham and, and use that as sort of an aim. But, you know, we're going to be our own team. No matter what happens to anyone else, we're going to make sure we're strong and, and see where that takes us. Yeah, there's still plenty more points to play for this season. And, and I do understand plenty more points to be played for today. So I better let you go uh, and enjoy the celebrations as they continue. Thanks for joining us.